Hello everyone, Rad, Rad here uh, from Rad Kutsarot and uh, this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising uh, weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th, <clears throat> 2019. And I'm going to use here the uh, standard Reader White Tarot deck. So now I'm going to shuffle uh, the cards. And um, as I'm shuffling, once again, I want to uh, remind you that that is to be a, a general reading for Libra Star Sign. And for that reason, um, <clears throat> this general reading is going to resonate in a different level with different uh, Libras. So uh, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I'm doing, oops, excuse me, just like I'm doing for the examples uh, in this video, then that is a, a subject of a personal reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So to cut the cards now and uh, let's see what awaits you here, Libra. So the first card that we do have for you, which is the topic of the week, that is going to be the tower. The second card, which is uh, the negative aspect that you can do or rather like things that you should not do throughout the week. That is going to be the king of swords. Then we follow... The third card, which is the positive aspect or the uh, positive things you can do to further your growth and to further your process throughout the week. That is to be the four of wands. And the last card that we do have, this is going to be the queen of pentacles. And that is the final outcome. Should you follow the guidance that uh, Taro is giving to you. So... I'm going to leave the cards uh, for now here and we're going to go through uh, every single card. But uh, that is a, a tough one, guys. It's a tough reading and it is a tough one uh, it's because it does not um, relate to you in a personal or direct level. There will be, uh, just from the overview here, there will be a crisis, uh, but that is not going to be your crisis. Any, uh, But you will be involved in that crisis. For example, uh, com the company you're working at is going through crisis. This is not your crisis, but yet you are affected by it because it's the company that you are working at and so on and so forth. Or your family is going through a crisis. It's not your crisis, but therefore you are uh, related to it in a certain extent and you have to contribute with it. Now that is displayed uh, here with the tower and with the follow-up of the rest of the cards, but let's go to the tower first. So the tower is about transformation and it is about a, a radical shift, an impending one, all right? So a radical transformation, impending one. So no one really can do anything about preventing the shift. But uh, people can... Uh, manage it, let's say, or you can help managing that shift to a, a certain extent. Important thing to be said with the tower card is that as soon as this shift is over or the process of the shift of the transformation, it is uh, most likely accompanied with very um, unpleasant circumstances, unpleasant symptoms as well, but ultimately leads to growing and healing effects relationship-wise, family-wise, or career-wise as well. But yet, yeah, as I said, that will not be your crisis. Um, primarily your crisis is just is going to be the crisis in the deeds that you are involved in. <clears throat> so for that reason, what you can do here uh, is um, literally to, how can I place it? to strain or to maintain your calmness as much as possible throughout that, uh, throughout that time and to help as much as possible, but without, um, I don't know how to explain it really, uh, but, <clears throat> well, basically to know what you can do and what you cannot do and only help when you actually can make a difference. It is, uh, it is with the tower card. The thing with uh, the thing with the tower here is uh, once again that you cannot you, you cannot prevent it, and for that matter, 
whatever happens throughout this week to the people that you care about or to the company that you're working for or to your family and etc etc cannot be um or sh excuse me should not be uh fought but rather managed once again the more you fight against this shift in this transformation the more people that this transformation relates to is going they are going to suffer so once again you cannot um, prevent it but you can manage it and it is all about that you trying to help those people managing their uh, radical shift with the next card here this uh, or with the accompanied card that is going to be the eight of wands and with this card things are going to happen fast things are going to happen unpredictably so it's kind of like you will always have to be on your guard and you should not drop your guard for that matter because as soon as you for example be able to stabilize and manage one thing another thing is going to start making problems and predicaments from a different front and there it is where your attention uh, is going to be required so basically you will not have a time to catch up your breath if you uh, devote yourself you know to uh, manage that shift now this is one of these weeks that uh, not everything depends on you and uh, you are not obliged to do it as well you know if you decide not to participate into managing the the transformation here or the unpleasant symptoms of that transformation then the week is going to be totally normal for you but in order to do so in order not to participate into it you should be um stone cold what i mean is that you you need to be someone that does not really care what happens with these people and you have no emotional attachment to them whatsoever and also if that is about your career you know you will have to you need to have a uh, a backup plan like for example your company goes through a, a crisis and if your company bank uh, reach bankruptcy here then you will need to have a, a backup plan for a another company that you can work for the next card that we do have for you Libras, this is going to be the King of Swords and these are the things that you should not do. So that card points here that many people will think that you are going to be the, mirac the miraculous leader, the one who can do things, the one that can basically wave the magic wand and things to happen. So it's kind of like people will think that you are a, a savior that's uh, basically you dictate you will dictate the rules of the game and uh, you can uh how can i place it you can fight that crisis which is totally wrong and because uh people will have such a high opinion of you that could make you uh, kind of like with an over exaggerated pride and also you know give you some means here to exert power and authority which is totally uh, totally okay but what the card points is that you need to make you need to make it clear to those that the crisis affects the most that um, you can help with uh, with what you can but and you can give them let's say um, an analysis here you can analyze the situation and tell them what they can do but you cannot do it for them that is very very important and uh, <clears throat> it's simply what you what kind of a role you need to play here throughout this week is that you point with your finger what needs to be fixed but if the people whom that crisis affects does not make that necessary action that necessary participation no one else can all right and uh, <clears throat> with that being said the play uh, the, the king of swords here plays the only role telling you that you should not accept yourself as an almighty you know things can go wrong and they if they go wrong and they don't, don't go according to plan and this crisis becomes uh, a kind of like unmanageable that is not because of you and you should not blame yourself for it it's all about that so it's kind of like if the crisis becomes unmanageable it is because someone else have not done their job and once again you are not almighty and yeah you're respected yes you are kind of like a, people put a great hopes into you but you are no god and you can do just so much so once again do not blame yourself if you 
it's not even failure, but if you find yourself incapable to make a difference. Uh, that is if you cannot make any difference there. But for those Libras, which people coming for an advice and for guidance, you know, actually uh, listen to you and listen to your analysis, listen to your, um, as well, to your deductions here and, uh, and conclusions, and they do what you think is right. Most likely this crisis is going to be managed. And um, you have to also approach that situation as soon as the the crisis is uh, is managed with humbleness right you should not brag about that you were the one who actually helped that crisis to be managed the card that accompanies the king of swords that is the tree of wands and what that card points is that the solution or your solutions to this crisis has to be something out of the ordinary for um, what I'm trying to say here is that the resolution um, of the crisis itself, it lies beyond the box, it lies beyond one's vision, so it does require some, um, some original thinking. It cannot be resolved uh, if you sit on the already established patterns of the company that you're working at, family that you are in, or the relationship as well that you are in as well. So uh, the next one, this is going to be what you should do throughout the week, and that is the Four of Wands. And that is the card that kind of throws me off here, because uh, it does make sense, but uh, it, it's, it kind of urges you to be a little bit more selfish than usual. So what the Four of Wands is all about is about finalizing a very important inner work that is important here. Inner work, a cycle of growth, a cycle of development. So what that card points is that throughout managing this crisis, you can reach a, uh, let's say, contract or you can make a negotiations from which stipulations you can extract a lot of benefits. So just to give you an example of it, uh, someone needs your help and they do have a lot that they can bargain with, all right? And you have them cornered because they need your help and no one else can help them in it. So you can basically, you know, abuse that standpoint of that your help is required and basically, you know, take as much as you can. So it's, it's what the Four of Wands here asks you. On top of that, the Four of Wands urges you not to throw everything in all right and especially if that is about your job especially if that is about your career you need to leave these problems into your working place instead of bringing them back home for example as i told you if things are going down to shade and people doesn't listen to you that may frustrate you all right and all that frustration you may bring it at home as well from your job which is something that you should not do what the cards asks you here is that in every single moment that you have free time that you have time for yourself you need to celebrate you need to kind of like lift your spirit with dances with with going out with friends and so on and so forth it's all about you know relieving yourself from this tension that this crisis is creating in you, in your world, with some exterior enterprises that, is, that are not uh, connected with the crisis itself, with that shift and with that, uh, with that transformation that takes place either career-wise or family-wise. Example, if the, if the transformation in the crisis is in your family and as soon as you feel fed up from it, that you basically, you know, cannot stand it any longer, just call a friend and go out partying, go out, you know, uh, in a pub for a couple of beers and so on and so forth. You know, what the card points is that it is important here, you know, to give your contribution in this um, kind of like, time of destiny or destined times but as well if you do it all or kind of like if you contribute with your all in it and you don't leave yourself a room for break a room from recharge your vital energies you're gonna burn out very quickly and actually uh, your contribution will do more wrong than actually uh, something good the accompanied card here this is the page of cups and uh, with uh, with this card here, uh, it is very important to recognize that as much as you want, 
you cannot be the change maker, all right? As I said at the start, this card only confirms what I said at the start that you can do just so much. And if people doesn't want to listen to you, if people doesn't want to follow your advice, you cannot do that for them. And therefore, uh, it will be best if you are emotionally detached from that situation itself. Basically, what you need to do here is being completely professional about it rather than emotional about it. So what we're talking about is a, a battle that you can you cannot win, all right? You can help winning it, but you cannot win it for someone else. And the last that we do have for you, Libras, uh, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, and this is how all that thing ends. So that will be a person coming around, uh, which is going to uh, spot you. So you're gonna make an impression to this most likely a, a woman, well-respected person, someone who is very balanced and very humble. That person, uh, it, it, it kind of like it, it's a bit stuck into their into her i will use her but it could be a man self reflection and self realization and pretty much what happens is that she sees you as her all right so she have been into that situation as you are right now and what that person is going to do is going to uncover for you I uh, possibilities uh, there um, here to for yet unexplored so more more so more on the positive side this card points to a person who comes around and unfolds your potential or kind of gives you an, an idea how you can unfold your potential very important but the thing with uh, with the queen of pentacles here is, is that as well this person will help you manage the impact of this uh, crisis that happening that that it is happening on your turf not on the turf of others but on your turf and probably uh, if you stick to this person, to that woman, uh, then we have a, a very good cooperation, either friendship-wise, relationship-wise, and maybe business-wise as well, uh, f from which cooperation you are going to learn how not just to achieve things and how to uh, utilize on maximum all the means and the resources that you do have, but also how to sustain what you have achieved until this very moment, because that is one of the steps of this of success, achieving and then sustaining. So she's going to teach you how to sustain and consolidate, um, you know, uh, what you have worked for. It's more like a, a person who uh, likes to to play on safe and secure rather than to take a risks. And uh, then we do have the accompanied card, which is the Two of Cups. And that only confirms that this is going to be some sort of a partnership, a, a balanced partnership. And actually around this person, you're going to feel like um, you found your, I don't want to use the word soulmate, uh, but soulmate does not mean a lover, at least according to my book. Soulmate means someone who, who, who understands you and someone who is ready to give you, to uh, share with you their good and bad fortune as sharing with you their good fortune that makes it double, share with you their bad fortune that makes it half. So it's kind of like you are going to have at the end of this week a, a person who uh, is always ready to listen to you is always ready to help you and it's always uh, kind of like ready to basically um, take one for the team take one uh, take a bullet uh, for you so that being said guys um, Libras this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again that was a general reading for Libra star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different level with different Libras if you want your personal situation however to be analyzed through tarot just like I did for the few examples in this video by me then that is a subject of a personal reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing rat signing out now see you next time bye